What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone is having an amazing day, folks. It's Saturday. It's the freaking weekend. I'm excited. Let me lower that volume just a little bit. Hopefully, that's not too loud blasting in your ears. But we got a lot to cover. We got a lot to talk about the markets, folks. We saw a little bit of a dip yesterday. People got afraid. People got nervous. I saw the sentiment coming out. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about what is going on in the markets right now. It's not going to matter a couple of months from now. Just relax. We're going to talk about Jim Cramer and his latest statements. We're going to jump into the XRP price. We're going to look at a couple of price charts. You're going to want to stick around to the end because you're going to want to see them. We're going to talk about the Gatecoin hack. Monica Long, we're going to hear from her. We're going to find out that once the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit has come to an end and XRP was declared not to be a security, have we seen more adoption uh, from companies looking to join Ripple or use the XRP ledger? I got your answer. We're going to cover all that in this video, folks. Without further ado, let's jump into a Bitcoin. $41,644. It's currently up about a half a percent. Ethereum coming in at $2,476. It's down a half a percent. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is a mean lean 55 cents, folks. It is up 0.22% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, one trillion six hundred and fifty two billion. I don't like where we are, but remember, we don't get bullish until we break two trillion dollars. Bitcoin was very close, and I didn't look at the charts. Did we touch the 30s last night? I gotta go back and do a little examination here. We might have, but I'm not too positive, so we're not gonna call it just yet. Now look, ripplevanwinkle.com. It's so simple to go to. Ripplevanwinkle.com. Click free crypto advice, folks. Put your email list in. The email is coming out today. It's a free newsletter. You get about once a month. Sometimes if I'm feeling, you know, a little bit, a little bullish, I'll send out two a month. That's it. They're free. This episode or this newsletter, we're putting out the Bitcoin halving chart. Last halving cycle compared to this halving cycle. Where we are within the market so you know what to expect moving forward forward that's coming out this afternoon you still probably have about three to four hours from this video being published to join the newsletter it's free it takes two seconds don't be silly get on it so you can see the market set sentiment and you can keep up with everything jim kramer the man doesn't stop he's like the little energizer bunny isn't he just, he just doesn't stop well he's bearish on bitcoin First he's bullish, then he's bearish, then he's bullish again, then he's bearish. He doesn't know which way to go, but if he's bearish, I'm bullish. That's why it's so important. I need to check the Bitcoin chart to see if we did touch the third, see if the next move up. Remember, follow my pinned comments on my Twitter. I am telling you each and every single step of the way where Bitcoin is going next. We called it from 41 to 48,000. We called the move up. We told you when 48,000 is breached, we are moving back down. We're getting into the $30,000 range. Pay attention to those pinned tweets. Everything is in that thread. James Rule, my man. He said, me? Worry? Nah. Don't even think about it. He's talking about the XRP dip. I mean, we got down to what, 53? 52 cents yesterday. I saw people freaking out. My DMs were blowing up. You know what I told people? Walk away. Step away. These prices right now aren't going to matter where we are towards the end of this year. They don't matter right now. You have two options, folks. It's very simple. You can either buy more or you sit on your holdings and you wait for this thing to boom. It's going to come. It's going to happen. Trust me. If you can't handle what's going on right now, because I'll tell you right now, from, from January 20th, this very moment, all the way until the halving, it's going to be a freaking roller coaster. If you can't handle the roller coaster, if you've got a, a finger that's ready to click to sell because you can't take any more, step away. Walk away from the computer. That's all you have to do. And that's why I want you to join that newsletter. I'm putting out the chart. You're about to see what's about to happen leading up to the halving. That is why it is very important. To join it so you know what to expect. So if we do have another dip back down or a massive dip going back down, you could be like, hey, I knew this was coming. No worries because I know what's coming after it, folks. Wrath the common. Key question is Monica Long right here. Did XRP demand as not a security lead to a higher rate of adoption? Let's listen to see what Monica got to say. You know, there's 
when when crypto hits crypto summer, it's hot and everyone wants to be a part of this industry. And I definitely have noticed in this latest winter, um, even the the pitch decks from uh, different developers that we used to see, uh, you know, maybe back in uh, 2022 that were all about Web3, they now flip to AI as the, as the headline <laughs> of what they're selling. Right. Um, it might be so, coming back now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so don't don't be the sheep that uh, follows the herd in uh, the times of winter. You could you could see that. It, I guess my my advice is to um, to lean into the future. Um, I know that right now regulatory climate. Where's the U.S. going to fall? Uh, you know, is the ETF going to get approved? Like where does the world stand on crypto blockchain? Also, frankly, just in the wake of some of the big headlines around Binance and FTX, there's this kind of cloud of the industry. Um, but, uh, you know, with taking on risk comes great reward. And I think mm -hmm. that, you know, from a purpose standpoint, being a part of building this future is really meaningful. Very interesting. A lot of companies that used to deal with and talk to switch from Web3 to AI. They didn't take long for them to jump up the boat. I'll tell you right now, a lot of these companies, during a bearish time, they can't handle. They can't handle. They don't have the funds. You know, they're relying on bull markets to fund their business, to fund their operations. It's that simple. Steven or off, prove you're not one of them. This is all in regards to the gate coin hack. We covered this yesterday. All the information that is out there, and I want everyone to read up on this. All of the information that is out there in regards to the gate coin hack, the Ethereum founders, Joseph Lubin, Lubin, Vitalik Buterin, they were behind it. The information leading up to this shows that Lubin and Vitalik funded the hackers of the gate coin exchange right before they hacked it. They gave them the necessary money needed to pay the gas fees that were that made them able to execute the hack onto the exchange and get out a crap ton of Ethereum. I believe it was like 100, what was it, 165, 185 million, 185,000, excuse me, Ethereum folks. So what they were able to get out. Steven Aroff is out there. He's saying, listen, prove you're not one of them. Prove your innocence. It's kind of... Uh, it's kind of telling that Lubin and Vitalik will not comment on the situation. It's almost like they know they're guilty, right? And they don't want to try to dig themselves out of this hole. So instead, what are they doing? They're sitting back and they're hoping that this will just go away. Well, it is our job as a community of crypto Twitter to make sure that this doesn't go away and that people do understand what is going on in the space because it's this kind of corruption this kind of disgusting act that will set crypto back so far, folks. And it's our job to make sure that this is brought to life and that people are aware of this. SEC filing, wrap the comments and let's unpack Ripple's response to the SEC filing. Ripple argues that the SEC is asking for unnecessary information again and trying to subvert the legal process. He says the SEC wants to explore Ripple's finances and post-complaint XRP sales, but Ripple objects claims it is ultimately, uh, un ultimately since fact discovery closed months ago, and the SEC had ample chance then. It's also irrelevant since this info won't affect potential penalties or injunctions. They challenge the SEC's needs for more info to access remedies penalties by arguing new information isn't needed for old actions. Injunctions based on new info it does not address the original complaint. Don't change whether pre compliment conduct broke rules. They raised three preceding issues. Fact discovery closed months ago, and the SEC missed their chance. Reopening discovery? Well, that's unfair. Well, it is. The SEC already used up their allocated interrogatories. And an important thrust of Ripple's argument is that violating procedure strips them of their protection, setting a dangerous precedent for legal phishing trips that ignore discovery deadlines, shift the burden of proof, and compromise fair trials. Spot on. Love that. I think Ripple's going to win. I don't think that this... 
this final part, we should call it, of Ripple vs. SEC. I don't think it goes on that much longer. I think the judge is really going to try to speed this up. Uh, the SEC will probably try and delay as much as they can, but I just don't see it, you know, really getting drug on like the the other part of this let's talk about the xp price chart doc defender we are distracted with 58 cents and 49 cents and the question still remains when and when the question should not be when but where we checked the dips last time and yes it stands 39 cents unless the 66 cent level is broken ladies and gentlemen below is the xrp rsi chart which is a well-known indicated of a monthly time frame I want to name it immediate breakout. The majority expect the bull run in 2025 referred to the graphs, but I expect the first leg to happen in 2024 based on math. I will also share the changes and plan to analyze the weekly close. Here's what he's looking at. You can see the resistance, the RSI, strong move. Listen, 39 cents. Is it in target? It is. Is an XRP bull run in target this year? 100%. Could it last into 2025? You bet your little butt it can. Brad Gollinghouse, Ripple's team, been saying summer of crypto. It's coming this year. Is that when we see our first powerful move? Time will tell. Subscribe to the newsletter. You're about to see what Bitcoin's about to do. I got you covered, folks. All I know, XRP, all-time high and beyond, it's coming. Be ready, strap in, have his plan, and get ready to execute. Wash your damn hands, be nice, be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.